Okay, what we have here is four liters of NaOH reacted canola uh, glycerin byproduct. We're going to make some soap. Okay, the first thing we have to do is melt it down. A little red dot. Get that all heated up. This has already had its uh, methanol removed from it. So it is now ready for uh, the soap making process. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is prepare uh, caustic water, which in this case over here is done in a uh, four and a half liter jug, but we only put 3.8 liters of water in there, to which we were, go we're going to add 160 grams of KOH, potassium hydroxide. Okay, once the glycerin is fully liquefied, it's time for us to add our essential oils. Now in this case we have lavender essential oils, which we'll just pour in there. And in this case it's 15 milliliters of essential oils to the four liters of, gl of glycerin. And we mix that all in and let it react a little bit. Okay, once the essential oils are uh, completely mixed in, we uh, then just turn off the heat, but leave it on the burner so that the heat is still essentially going on. Next thing we're going to do is add our uh, caustic water while stirring that in. Okay, now we have just added our uh, caustic water, and as you can see, the uh, reaction is taking place between the sodium-laden glycerin and the potassium-laden water, and that is changing from a sodium base to a potassium base. And this will go through several, uh, we would say, ocular or ocular changes um, until it gets to where we want it to be um, we have to continue stirring it all in, mixing it all up uh, just to make sure it all gets blended in correctly. Uh, this is the tedious part. It's actually quite a simple process it's just that uh, it requires constant attention. Now this we will keep doing until we get the consistency of a coffee cream or cafe au lait uh, looking substance. Okay, now what we've done here is we've mixed for about 10 minutes. I've changed over to a wooden mixing stick and as you can see we're uh, getting more or less what looks like chocolate pudding. Um, that's what you're looking for. Now this mixture will be stirred a bit more and let the settle and then stirred off and on for the next 30 minutes to 45 minutes and then allow it to settle overnight. Uh, after that we move on to the next step. Okay, what we have here is a uh, final step where you can see a froth has formed on the top of the soap and this will need to be scooped off and once that is done we will be left with the final product. Okay, now we've scooped off all the froth as you can see and what we're left with is a very nice viscous uh, biodiesel glycerin liquid gel type soap.